effective, and they have let's guys go. that so work inbound. extremely hard. That's JJ, great... back to Zoe. Let's go. Let's get these layups going. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Zoe, 11 to 7. Oh, wait. Right wait lay him up. Let's go, Zoe. 11, 7, and 5 total game today. 4 for 11. They go. Good swing. Let's go, Alexander. Let's go. Good pass, Zoe. Let's go, Zoe. Pushing it. Let's go. Let's push it. Let's push it. There you go. Good pass to Nelly. We take that right there. Great. Great ball movement. Great ball movement. There you go. Let's go. Let's go. There you go. Good pass to B.I. Zoe swing to B.I. Let's go. That's how we run it. Watch this. Okay. You already know he know how to throw the long ball. Look at that. Look at that um, pass right there. Let's go. Drew Brees will be proud of him after that. Good shot, J.J. There you go. Good swing to Eton Moore. Let's go, Zoe. Let's get it. Let's get it. Come on, Kobe. Why? Get it out of here, man. You're a rook. Hell is wrong with you? Let's go, Zoe. Okay, let's survey. Let's survey. Good Josh Hart, three on the Josh corner. Hart. Let's get it. Yeah. 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 Let's get it. I'm going to put it up. Then Wendell Carter Jr. We brought up at the top of the telecast. Nice move, Brandon. Trying to get it inside. Rick and Shane. Oh, Euro. Oh, my goodness. He's starting to come. He is unlocked. Euro, let's go. Josh Hart. Swing. Josh Hart. Swing. Let's go. Josh Hart. 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 And an all SEC Let's performer. do it, Derek Favors. Let's do it. Okay, so Final 95 okay, seconds. So, Good way to so, get the road. So, so. Lines high off, high off the glass. Off Let's go. Make sure y'all keep support. What's his name? Billy Packer? The movement, yeah. What's up, y'all? We about to talk about Lonzo game last night. Now, um. The Pelicans played the Chicago Bulls at home one. I think it was 123 to 108. I think that's something like that. I know we won by 18, 15 to 18. And Lonzo played a great floor game. I was happy with his floor game. Plus they won. Um thing about him when he do play the um matter of fact let's talk about the game the game was a good game second unit came in real good it produced but far as long though it was a great game moving the ball playing unselfish as always and you know and they and, and they got the dub he had he had 11 points seven assists five rebounds and i would say Realistically, he probably had about three three to four hockey assists, too. Probably more than that, just constantly moving the ball and just making the right play at the right time. He was off from three-point land. He was 0 for 5 from three-pointer, but he went 4 for 11 in general, made three or four free throws so he did um make the free throws and the main thing they won you don't really worry about stats unless somebody play off we just played team ball the bench came in real good and that's just a good team win so me personally you know I was happy with it I mean he could have shot more the thing about sometimes what I tell people is you know a lot some of the Lonzo fans I'm a big Lonzo fan that game he played last night, he could play all the time. The thing about him is scoring, you know, and when they have him in the corner, when they have him moving all around, using him more than just a traditional point guard, he does a little bit better for a scoring. When he plays traditional, he just going to keep moving the ball, moving the ball, just playing good team ball. But we need the Lonzo of the last four games more, more. You know, we take this Lonzo too because it's a winning formula. But yeah, add the add the formula you did today with a few twenties, then go back to fourteen, then go back to twenty, go back to eleven. But the key is always getting a double W and making yourself a threat. Like DJ did say that um DJ um I might put a link to his videos in in here if I can remember. But they was doubling him. They was making sure that. He wouldn't really beat them because how he was playing the last few games. And Chicago is a real great defense of team. So I have to 
give him credit. And plus, he was giving the ball to B.I. tonight. B.I. was cooking. B.I. is an ISO. A lot of people don't like it, but he's an ISO player. He's just trying to figure it out. So, you know, I was just happy with that. But the haters, you know, the hate. I'm a big, I, I love Zoe, and I criticize him more than anybody. I'm hard on him, but these haters is just to the point when they are ridiculous. I wake up to people sending a text saying, why you don't make a Bulls video? Okay, I'm making a Bulls video. They won. Of course, I'm making a Bulls video. Somebody left a, a message early in the morning. Man, I wake up 6.37. Somebody already left me a message. These haters hate. What about a win? I've never seen nobody act like this over a win. He won and he played pretty good. He had 20... So what? He didn't have 20. It's about the win. It's about the floor game. Some games you have 20. Some games you don't. Some games you have 11. Some games you have 6. Some games you have 15. But the win is the most important thing in playing team basketball. So then it's this dude named Ticket. I, I like to call him No Ticket TV. You know what I'm saying? Because he don't really have no... He don't really have... He don't really have no ticket. You know, I like to call him No Ticket. And I found out today... This dude is the number one. No, I mean, we all know he's the number one hater, but I found out Ticket is 6'9", and he can't dunk. He can't even make a team. He never played sports. He got cut from numerous high school teams. So that's why he's mad. But he makes a whole video. Who makes a video about a dude after they won and played a great floor game? So I have to apologize to a few people because I just thought they was just, they was just saying people was hating on Lonzo for no reason and talking and I and I was just thinking we don't got to do that. If you're a Lonzo fan, we play well, we just praise him. But these haters is deep. I ain't know. I've been looking on Twitter. These haters are deep, sending me messages, making videos, talking. I even look in a couple of fans. They talk about he shouldn't start with Zion come back. So I understand the hate is real, but he's a winning basketball player. He is unlocked, point blank, period. I'm seeing the Euros. I'm seeing the mid-range. He just, I, I was, you know, sometimes these kids, they come in when they're 19 years old. It takes them three, four years to get to 21, 22, and then they start getting better and better and better. And about the time they're 24, they monsters. Look at Zach Levine. This is seventh year in the league. You know, so sometimes it take time and I'm starting to see with his development, with the pull up, with the euros. Like if you see it about the beginning the video, he giving euros. He still got to work on, keep working on his jump shot. But I, I was happy. These haters, like who could watch the game and see the game and see him have stats and they won and still make a hater video out? Dudes do anything for clout chasing and it's a, and, and, and it's a shame. But we do got people like Ball Facts, DJ. We got numerous people actually out there putting out good content to to kind of battle the haters, you know. And don't get me wrong, when he was playing bad, you know, when he was just, I, I understood some of it. Even I'm doing was hate, but. You couldn't defend it when you scoring 10 points, shooting 35%, even though you're playing good basketball, people will look at the numbers so I could see that critique. But now he hit four straight 20-point games. Then last game, this game that he just played last night, he had a total. He filled up the stat sheet, and they still won. You making videos. That's what makes you a pure adultery hater. It, it, it ain't no ifs and buts much about it. That's what makes you a hater. Who make a video? Who makes a video after a win? This clout chasing is real now. I mean, I didn't think it was as real as it is, but this clout chasing is real. The hate is real. You know what I'm saying? But the key about it is you can't hate but so long. You, 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 you got to give it up. And with Zion come back and they shot it and they make that playoff run or next year when they in that top five seed, you're going to have to bow down. You ain't going to have no choice but to bow down, kiss the ring, and show appreciation of a hardworking person. Only thing we can say about him is sometimes his aggression because he played too good of a basketball game when 
Sometimes you, you got to go out there and get yours and be a weapon. But as far as winning basketball, as far as teammates, as far as people loving him, as far as people giving him his props, as far as him being the ultimate team player, buying all the, buying all the players customized Xbox, being a team player, whether he start coming off the bench, you ain't going to hear anything from him. Who don't want that? Who would hate? Who would hate? Who would hate on a person like that? We, we, we just need to stop. It, 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 it's not right. Stop clout chasing. You're making yourself look bad. We got people, you know what I'm saying? We got people, we got people who will eat the you for doing that. So stop doing it. But anyway, man, appreciate y'all. Keep watching, making sure y'all like, share, subscribe. And tell me what y'all think. Leave a comment. Tell me what you guys think. Support the movement. Stop on 007. I love you guys. Like, share, comment. Make sure everyone see this, man. I'm out. Love you. Yeah.